name is Bertha Green. I was in second grade when the Prince Edward County School Board announced that they would be closing my school. My parents were really concerned that I get an education, so the following year, they sent me away to a Quaker school in Iowa. Of the more than 2,000 students who were denied an education during those five years, I was part of less than 5% who actually did manage to get an education. I'm now a second grade teacher myself, so I know how important it is for children to get a good education, and I can't imagine how lost that would be if I hadn't. Even though I was denied the right to my second grade education, I think that might be one of the reasons why I'm here now, teaching second grade. In those years, I was so sad and scared, and I felt so alone, and I missed my family and my friends. Some nights, I'd cry myself to sleep, just wanting so badly to go home. The family I lived with was kind, and they had the best of intentions. But as a child of eight, all that I knew was that they weren't my real family. My parents came to visit one weekend every other month, and I looked forward to those visits for days. But after they left, I was left all alone again to feel those feelings that that sadness, sometimes I had to just fight back tears just to make it through the day. Sometimes I feel like that's what's led to these feelings of mistrust and occasional uncertainty that I feel as an adult. And I was one of the lucky ones, one of the lucky ones who did get a chance to actually go to school. But still, I feel that I bear the scars. I was denied the right to go to my community school and to live at home with my family as just a young girl. I feel that as a black child, my life and my future were not important to my community. And those feelings linger on with me to this day. Thank you.